Welcome to Devotion today. My reading is 1 Thessalonians 5, 6 to 11. In this letter to the Thessalonians, Paul encourages new believers to stay the course. And after Paul and Silas had proclaimed the crucified and risen Messiah in the Jewish synagogue, some members objected to this proclamation and they formed a mob causing such a huge uproar that Paul and Silas were forced to flee. And now quote, So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another, build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Condemnation is our own worst enemy. We allow our shortcomings to overwhelm us. Fortunately, our mistakes do not define who we are. And when God reveals his plans to us, we need to be ready to change this perception. Denounce slothfulness and repent repetitive, destructive behaviour. There is a fantastic poem written by Portia Nelson that goes like this. I walk down the street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in. I'm lost. I'm helpless. It isn't my fault. Oh, it takes forever to find a way out. <clears throat> Chapter 2. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend that I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place. But it isn't my fault. It takes a long time to get out again. Chapter 3. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it is there. I still fall in, it's a habit, but my eyes are open. I know where I am, it is my fault, and I get out immediately. Chapter 4 I walk around down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. Chapter 5 I walk down another street. As it says in Thessalonians, Encourage one another, which gives courage to one another where it is needed. We need to be part of the world, but not entrenched in its sin and negativity. Now that takes courage. We can encourage one another through prayer or bless one another with words and deeds. Ephesians 4.15 Those prayers, words and deeds could prevent someone from falling off the edge. Please, let's build each other up constantly. Let's find another street to walk down. Rebuke destructive, repetitive behaviour. Amen and see you next time.